finding the value. Okay, so there are two words that I have uh, that I have highlighted here. The first word is instructions or commands. The second word that I have highlighted is programs or software. Okay, so what are these two words? First word is instructions. Second word is programs. Instructions are also called commands, while programs are also called software. Right. So this is the first thing that you should know. When we say the word instructions, what do we mean with that? And when we say the word programs, what do we mean with that? So when we say the word instruction, it is basically a single line command, a command written in just one statement, just one line so that it can complete one task, complete one task, completing one task. I will give you an example what it is. After that, the second thing that we have is program. Program is basically a set of more than one instructions that are joined together to complete one goal. So program is like a bigger thing in which you have a lot of instructions. These instructions are followed step by step. And from first step to last step, you follow all these instructions. Actually, your computer follows all these instructions and does something something that completes the objective of one let's say condition whereas an instruction it is a single statement you just write one line of command and it does only one thing every instruction mostly leads to an action so one instruction that will cause one action to happen in your program. Similarly, program has a lot of instructions. So it will let to happen a lot of actions. All these actions when combined together, they complete one objective of the game. For example, let's say I go to this website, I guess in a different browser. Here, let's say so today you have to visit this website this is like a very uh, interactive website there are a lot of games that you can play here games that teach you how to use commands and how to use instructions and how to convert them into one program or one chunk of big code so the website is blockly dot games right so who is doing hey, it with you said that we need to do it at level seven so i did it we have already done that good so we are yes. going to just see it on another perspective right now when we say the word instruction it means this one code that we have written here i guess we have already done this thing so we are just going through that thing again to learn about the difference between instructions and commands instructions and programs currently what you can see is there is only one step written here which is move forward so when i press this one this behaves like one instruction and it gives this character one instruction to take a step forward so this character takes one step forward and stops right there doesn't do anything after that why because currently we had written only one instruction and that one instruction could only make our character move one step. Right? So this is what the instructions do. Instructions help you to complete one small objective. After that, we have is another move forward. Let's say I put this another move forward right along with it. What would happen now is this task is going to be completed. Similarly, you remember that we tried to make an animation in Scratch also. You remember that in which we had a giraffe, an elephant and a lion, the elephant and giraffe, elephant and lion, they went to the giraffe, said something. So 
let's try to see how instructions and commands work in Scratch as well. Instructions and programs work in Scratch as well. So let me open Scratch here. Once this scratch window opens, I will be show you one thing that there are many tools there in the scratch that we can use to perform different kind of things. And I'm going to explain you one by one what these all codes are there for. So first thing, let's see this, that once this scratch is opening, you would see on the left side, the center and the right, you have three portions here. I guess we have already discussed what these three portions would do, but let me explain them once again. In this middle portion, this one, here you can see a transparent cat logo, and this big screen is in the middle. Hera, why are you singing? And you are not muted. So this middle portion here, let me draw a line somewhere so that you can see what I'm talking about. This middle portion. You would see that it is currently empty right now, right? Is it empty or is there anything in this portion? It's empty. It's completely empty. There isn't anything. So this portion that is in the middle, that is called the workspace. What do you call it? Please repeat workspace. it with me. Workspace. workspace. It's the workspace. workspace. Good. And if I, let's say, change the color here of the pen and draw this area. Do you know what is this area called? So this area, that, yeah, this area is called stage and this area, let me change the color again. And this area here, do you know what is this called? This is called the code window. This is called the code window. So this has code all, window. Yes, this has all the codes that you will use. And these codes would do just one thing with your character. So this red area here is the stage. This brown area here, this is the workspace. And this green area here, this is the code window. Code window has all the codes there. Eh? Yes? If we select code, then we will get a code window. If we select costumes, we will get a costume window. And with sounds, we will get a sound with, uh, window. Yes, you will get all these windows here. Let me show okay. you how these work as well. If I click on costumes here, you would see that the middle part is now the workspace is now going to change into that character editing space. Here you can edit your character. And by the word editing the character, what I mean is, let's say that if I want to make my character, this cat, change its shape somewhere like that, I would be able to do that. If let's say that I don't think that it, this cat should be smiling and instead this cat should be looking like that this cat is angry, I can also make it happen by changing its face to something like that. Now, what does this cat look like? Does, does this cat look like it's smiling or does it look like no, that it, looks, it looks it, like it's scared. It's scared or it is surprised or something. Or it's sad. But let's say that if I put these two eyebrows here, something like that. Uh, let's try to make them a little thinner. Change its width as well a little. 
and I put them on its face. Then, sir, he will look angry. Something like that. So this would start look start to look. He will look like he is shouting. Like, what did you do? Yeah, it would look like that. Let me make make its face a little red. Now it looks like it is angry or something like that. So you can do a lot of things with your characters in the costumes window. You can change how they look. You can change how they behave. You can see what options do you have for this character. Let's say that if I don't make any changes here in this cat, I can't undo it now. So this was supposed to be basically looking like if this cat is running. Let's change its color back to the previous state. And it's running and it's happy. Now it looks like that this cat is running and this cat is happy. The happy running cat now we have got. Okay. So costume window can help you to change how your character looks like. Every character that you would pick up in the sprite portion that character would have a sound related to it. For example, this is a cat. So it has a sound that sounds something like that. So what is this sound like? This a sound cat. This sound is like a cat, like a cat. meowing, meowing. We can also, uh, we can also record this cat. sound. Yes. Yes, you can also record uh, sir, it's a cat with a high pitch. Cat with high pitch. Uh, make the cat like if you can say better, uh, except this. So you can use your voice and make the cat's voice. Yes, and you can also make this cat voice look a little <coughs> robotic, also if you want. But this sounds like a robotic cat. <coughs> Similarly, there are a certain features. There are certain features that you can help to make your sound I feel better when you are using them like fading in and fading in for a long no longer space let's say. and let's remove its uh, robotic part also so you can change the way the sound would behave similarly it sounds you, like a bird Similarly, you can change the sound here as well by choosing a sound. And when you choose a sound, you can use any sound that you would want to. There is also option to you can use, sound. Yes, you can use any sound that you think that your character should be making. It's up to us. So that is what this sound window would be. Let me clear all my drawings here. And the sound window can also do that, that if you want to use your voice with the character, you can do. Yes, you can also do that. You can also do that. If you want to record a sound of your own, you can also do that. All you need to do is click here. It says upload sound, surprise and record. So you can record a sound here, whichever you want. We you need your permissions. Now, when I say that record, it will start recording. So now I can see that what I have recorded. So if I have had to use a bird somewhere, I could use it. This tweeting sound. Like a, it's like a cuckoo. It's like a cuckoo, yes. So any bird tweeting, we can use this sound for that bird. So, so these are the three basic portions in a scratch window. Now let's see what is the meaning between actions. <laughs> What would the actions do and what would the program? Let's say first discuss the motion part. So motion part contains all the objects, all the Sir? blocks. Yes. But we need to change the background.
ground the cat is not running in the sky i know that but let's say that today we are not doing that we will do that some other day today i'm just going to tell you what these tools would okay. help you do. it is always a good idea to have some background let's say i would want to use this board walk and let's say that i want to make my cat run on this board walk so first i would want my character to face in a better direction perfect now i can ask my cat to start moving so what i can do is ask my character to move 10 steps change to next costume sir if you want to change your like 10 steps or move anything that steps again. if you want to change 10 steps or anything that has numbers or letters you can use that what do you want you can type in there and like if you don't want 10 seconds you can use 20 or 5 5 or if you don't want ten steps you can use five like 20 and if you if it's saying hmm <laughs> you can also use like uh, your name anything yes so let's say that this move step is going to make your cat move sometimes we would want a cat to move fast and sometimes we might want a cat to move a little slower so moving 10 steps it would do something like that then it will change the costume move another 10 steps change the costume again move another 10 steps change the costume move another 10 steps and change the costume so this is something that can keep on happening as per our own choice we can also change these steps to let's say 30 this one to 30 as well and let's see what happens now it's taking bigger leaps let's say that i use these two blocks and i delete this one and this one i bring my cat here and i ask my character to keep doing this i want this to happen let's say so we will add the wait until do no it do it forever yes we can either do it forever or do it for a certain number of steps we can repeat it a certain number of steps let's find out how many steps do we need so let's say from here if we start we need 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so we need 14 steps in order to complete our journey from this place to this place let's say that we want this to happen 13 14 times what we are going to do is go to this control block add the repeat 10 times here but instead of 10 let's make it to 14 and let's see what happens when we press this button currently you would see that this is happening very fast so we would want this process to slow down a little so in order to make it slow down what you are going to do is add wait here after every time it takes some steps so let's say that we add 0.2 seconds and now see how does it move now this movement looks easier similarly sir it, you should like add 2 seconds because it's still very fast If I add two seconds, it's going to be very slow. So you can add like zero point five. Yes. So we can play with the seconds to see how many seconds do we want to skip. One is also very long. So let's try to figure it out by adding by waiting for zero point three seconds first, and let's see how does it move. Yeah, it's. pretty awesome now now let's say that we add another sprite here that sprite is going to be a bird i want to see that which birds do we have do we have any bird here bird 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 
what if I write bird here? I have a dove, I have a duck, I have a parrot. We have a, and have we have a bat. We also have a bat. Yes, we also have a bat, but I didn't like the bat very much. Let's say this is the bat. We want this bat. You can also use butterflies. They also have that. Let's try to make an animation in which a butterfly the cat is following the butterfly. So let's say that we go to the characters here and see if there is a butterfly. Any character that we want to animate, we need to see what costumes does it have. For example, this has this costume. We can use this costume if we want to see it flying. I may not need these two costumes. I'm going to delete them. This one also. Legs also, I don't think that I would be needing. So I can ungroup that and delete its legs like that. Now, in order to give it an impact that this character is flying, I'm going to duplicate it and change the position of its wings. Let's say that I change it to something like that, put it a little down and let's see how it is happening. Let's make it a little smaller as well. So this is happening, so which makes it look like this cat is now flying. So in order to fly the cat, this cat looks pretty big as compared to the, the, the butterfly looks very big as compared to this cat. So we can change its size here. Let's change it to 50, let's say, and this is kind of a little smaller size. Change it a little more, 40 would be perfect. Now we start writing code for it. So code is almost the similar. So you can just duplicate this code, drag it and drop it onto this butterfly. You see this code here? No? Okay, let's try to put it there. Now you see this code here as well. Let's say that I don't want in elements and flip the let's say that I want this cat to not be able to catch the butterfly and I also want the butterfly to fly above. So in order to make it fly above, what I can do is turn this butterfly a little at the start, something like that. Or maybe I should not add it here. I should add it here. And change it to very small number, let's say five degrees. And now let's see what happens. If I want both of these things to start at the same time, I should be adding them to the same event. So this yellow block here represents the events. Let's say that when flag click, they will put it here. And we put this when flag clicked here as well. Now you would see what would happen. Once you will press the flag button, both of the characters would start. Flying. One would start running and the other would start flying. Now we need to bring both of them back. So let's say I bring it back here. I bring this butterfly back here. I don't have to do this every time again and again and again. So let's say that I first fix its angle and where it should start from. So for that, I can use this go to X, Y block and point in direction block to help us understand where this character should be pointing to and where this, catch, where this character should be when you start the game. 
So let's say that now we have put where this character should be and where they should be pointing. Both the characters should be pointing the 90 to 90 degrees and they should be starting wherever you want them to start. Let's say that I want this butterfly to start here. So I'm going to change its X, Y position here according to this one. Its X, Y position should be minus 125 and 18. So I will put this values here, minus 125 and 18. Now let's see what happens. Now when we press the flag button, I just, I observed that this angle was very big. I can try to make it a little smaller. So let's say that's make it to three degrees or two degrees. Now, if we run it, you will see what would happen. This butterfly is still a little above. Let's try to take it down. So the butterfly flew out. And the cat kept running. The butterfly flew out and the cat kept running. So this is a simple animation. It's kind that, of funny. That's kind of funny. So this is sort of a simple animation that you can make as your assignment. I have recorded this lesson as well and I will share its recording with you. But this is like a very simple uh, animation that you can make today. If there are any questions that you guys want to ask, now you are welcome to ask any questions that you